Hi guys, today is uh, April 9th, uh, 2020. Uh, futures are higher actually after uh, uh, jobless uh, claims uh, number came out and it was uh, not so good, uh, 6.6 million jobless claims uh, and it was uh, I believe like uh, 5.4 million expected. But uh, uh, at the same time, Fed came out and unveiled its uh, $2.3 trillion uh, program uh, to support American economy and uh, that was good news for the uh, market. So in general, the markets are jumping higher. People are optimistic uh, and optimistic, and uh, also uh, Russia and so uh, Saudis uh, are having a virtual meeting over the production cuts, uh, oil production cuts. As you know, oil has been a dumpster lately, and uh, they're trying to decide how much uh, oil daily production they can cut. Um, so they can lift the price a little bit. So oil is jumping higher, a lot of optimism, but uh, I would be very careful. And I'm jumping to SP, uh, S&P 500, the stock symbol SPY. I mean, as you can see, the SPY is rising re recently, but um, I am, I'm still very conservative and I'm very careful about uh, doing new purchases. And uh, I have a big portfolio, but still I'm trimming it a little bit uh, as we are going higher because uh, I want to have a little bit of cash um, in case of uh, this uh, this uh, stocks pull back in general. <clears throat> Let's continue to corporate news. Uh, Costco symbol C O S T. Uh, this stock is lower, and uh, they reported 9.6% uh, rise in comparable uh, store sales, and that was below analyst uh, what analyst uh, has expected. And um, I actually think it's uh, they showed uh, pretty good numbers, and uh, I think if stock drops uh, a lot, uh, like in 290 area, I would be a buyer of Costco. Uh, I think it's a pretty good pickup um, uh, in this environment. Okay, so Tesla, Tesla actually reported uh, sales, record sales of uh, their Model 3 in China. They delivered 10 point or sale or sold uh, 10 point. Uh, 160 vehicles, so 10,160 uh, vehicles in China, Model 3. So I think that's pretty good numbers. I'm not sure why Tesla was uh, trading lower pre-market, but now it's higher because of the overall market lift. Uh, so um, I think Tesla is a pretty good buy. I like it more than any other uh, car maker um, like GM or Ford. I think Tesla, even at these prices, is a buy. Okay, so Disney. So Disney reported that uh, they had record number of subs uh, for their Disney Plus service. Uh, I think they hit like 50 million um, subscribers uh, for their uh, Disney Plus service, and um, that was a big surprise because analysts expected a, a lot uh, a lower uh, number. So in general, I don't think that Disney is in my book to buy uh, at these prices, like $106 rate, uh, it's where it's opening. I think it's below 100 uh, I would be more comfortable to buy Disney because they're still very exposed to this outbreak or this disease outbreak. So um, I would wait for Disney. Starbucks. Okay, so Starbucks um, reported that their second quarter profit will drop close to 50%. And uh, they didn't provide any uh, forecast, and uh, they have uh, suspended the share buyback. So, not so good news for uh, Starbucks in general. But uh, uh, shares are not so much uh, lower as uh, overall market uh, is uh, looks like being uh, to be to be higher uh, today. But uh, in general, I don't know if I'm uh, a fan of Starbucks. Also, at these prices. Uh, considering how much uh, they are exposed to this outbreak. I mean, their stores are open in uh, China, but uh, in US, uh, a lot of stores still closed. And uh, I don't know if I want to buy Starbucks when I have uh, so many companies, so many good companies that have fallen so much more than Starbucks. So I would hold on Starbucks. Okay, so NLS, um, Nautilus. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, but the NLS, it's the equipment uh, maker, uh, like exercise equipment maker. 
as like a ball flex they have uh, equipment uh, for exercising and obviously this is the good time for exercising because you're sitting at home and people are buying exercise equipment to you know to uh, to have something to do in general and to exercise obviously so they reported strong sales and they have provided very good forecast and the stock is jumping pre-market a lot it closed at two two thousand forty cents uh, yesterday and it's jumping to three thousand fifty two cents on a bit pre-market so that's a very strong jump but uh, usually if you want to trade this i usually fade the open uh, let it come down a little bit closer to three dollars and then uh, maybe nibble some shares okay next company on my list is deo okay diageo it's the biggest uh, maker of spirits or um, alcohol uh, uh, ma alcohol uh, products maker so um, they have uh, didn't provide the they issued q1 preliminary numbers and the numbers and sales rise but uh, did not provide the uh, uh, forecast um, and uh, they, they actually pulled their 2020 forecast and suspended buyback uh, but at the same time they said that they're gonna keep the dividend okay so uh, that was good news uh, because a lot of uh, uh, British companies uh, are suspending their uh, dividends and uh, actually DEO is not so uh, that's good news for uh, DEO shareholders and stock is higher a little bit so in the same space I actually like STZ Constellation Brands and Constellation Brands has said that they will reduce the brewery operations in Mexico but still um, they're a big distributor of um, alcohol uh, beverages and uh, this is a not a bad time for them uh, in general so I like STZ even more than DEO so a lot of reads are jumping this morning such as EFC and they were jumping yesterday such as uh, Ellington Financial. Ellington Financial provided update uh, to their operations yesterday and uh, they said they met all the margin calls and they're in a pretty decent uh, financial uh, position. Uh, they cut their dividend payment uh, in half but still that was good news because they're still paying dividend that that was a surprise actually. And uh, they showed actually the $15 book value uh, so that was also a good news so EFC uh, a little bit lower I would be a buyer of EFC but in general I like uh, AGNC in the read space and uh, Anneli Anneli and we also provided a letter to their shareholders yesterday and they said they have a very strong position uh, money for buyback share to buy back shares and uh, in general it's a very solid read in my opinion uh, other reads uh, to consider actually New York uh, mortgage trust uh, they provided update to their operation yesterday and they said that they met all the margin calls um, I didn't hear anything from MFA but they're jumping also pre-market because people assume that uh, their operations are better and uh, i also am looking at a company called uh, uh, invesco mortgage capital so i wouldn't buy mfa and invesco because i haven't heard anything from them but efc agnc nly would be a good pickup in my opinion so ups united parcel service that company was downgraded by UBS uh, to neutral from buy. Uh, they're saying that uh, there's overall drop in business uh, volumes. I don't know. I thought that actually this uh, company, this stock, would be a good play in this environment. Uh, in to tell the truth, uh, I would be a buyer of uh, UPS. I'm not sure about this call. Okay, so FedEx uh, also is going higher, but in general, I like UPS more because uh, I'm not a fan of FedEx team. Uh, they've made a lot of mistakes in the past. And uh, also consider the news that Amazon yesterday said that they're uh, suspending their um, comparable service, uh, testing of their comparable service, like delivery service. So that was good news for UPS and FedEx in general. So Zoom video. Zoom video uh, have been hit lately. Uh, have had some bad news uh, coming to them uh, lately because of the security concerns and privacy concerns. And the latest one, the Senate told their members not to use it, and uh, that followed uh, with the Google uh, actually restricting their um, employees to use Zoom video. 
So, but in general, a lot of people are still using Zoom video, so I think they will fix their uh, their issues and uh, they will go higher eventually. But uh, I wouldn't buy Zoom video at these prices, lower, low hundreds, I would be a buyer of Zoom video. Also, UBS and uh, Credit Suisse, CS and UBS, um, they reported that they bowing to pressure by European regulators um, to suspend their buybacks uh, or uh, dividends actually and um, that's not good news for these European banks and I like American banks uh, such as Bank of America uh, my favorite one and uh, I think uh, that's the stock I would stick to, to uh, at this point right now. And the other one is I like as well, Far Wells Fargo. But I like Mer Bank of America even more than Wells Fargo. Okay, so a uh, couple of more companies I'll give you. PGR, uh, which is progressive. And uh, they said they're announcing refunds to the customers uh, because of the lack of driving. And that uh, actually... Uh, uh, like a third or fourth uh, insurance company that does that. Uh, other companies such as Allstate uh, did, this, did this as well. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of uh, insurance companies at this point. They pretty much go with the whole market. Uh, with the, they follow S&P 500, but uh, I, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of this insurance company right now. Okay, and uh, the last one I'll give you is the Big Lots. Big Lots was upgraded. Uh, it was a big upgrade to neutral from sell by uh, JP Morgan on valuation basis and uh, easing liquidity concerns. So this stock is jumping higher a lot. So people think that uh, we'll reopen uh, soon and this, uh, this analyst thinks that uh, the uh, uh, price has fallen a lot for big lots. So uh, it's pretty low in my opinion in general. So I think uh, if it opens a little bit higher and drops a little bit, uh, I would pick up some shares because uh, in my opinion, it's pretty low priced. In general, I would be careful with my purchases today because uh, this is like Friday. Tomorrow we're closed for Good Friday. So this is like the last day of uh, trading in a week. And uh, some people may take some profits uh, uh, before the big week weekend. So be careful, but um, and look for pockets for opportunities and um, have a nice weekend and I'll see you Monday. Also, I may have uh, tomorrow a piece uh, on luck and coffee. I'm not considering that. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the like button. And I'll see you Monday or tomorrow. We'll see.